Cellular waste byproducts are soluble, that is, dissolve in water. And when they are eliminated, a certain amount of water is also eliminated. Our kidneys work as a filter to preserve as much of our body's water volume as possible. If they didn't, or couldn't, we would die of severe dehydration. Healthy kidneys filter all the blood in our body every 30 minutes. They filter and remove approximately 1.5 liters of urine every 24 hours. This would fill about two and a half bathtubs in a year's time. Previously mentioned, urine production begins in the nephrons. A nephron consists of a bulb called Bowman's capsule filled with a cluster of capillaries called the glomerulus and a long twisting tube called the renal tubule. Blood flows from the renal artery into the glomerulus. Here, blood pressure forces much of the blood plasma, the fluid portion of the blood, through the cell walls and into Bowman's capsule. This is called absorption and is the first of three steps involved in the process of filtration, or filtering of the blood. If the filtering surface in every nephron in just one of our kidneys were smoothed out and stitched together, it would equal approximately six square meters, the size of a sail on an 18-foot sailboat. One kidney can absorb 125 milliliters of fluid per minute, or 20% of all the fluid delivered via the renal arteries. This fluid is called filtrate, and in one day, the glomeruli produce about 180 liters of it. This is 70 times the total blood plasma volume in our bodies. If the nephron only absorbed fluid, our body would soon be in trouble. We would obviously lose far too much water and other materials that the body needs. This is what occurs in a disease called diabetes insipidus, which can cause death by dehydration. During the next step of filtration, called reabsorption, the filtrate passes from Bauman's capsule into the renal tubule. Here, 99% of the filtrate is reabsorbed back into the capillaries surrounding the tubule and return to the bloodstream. Driven by complex chemical and hormonal processes, reabsorption allows needed water and nutritional substances to be maintained at a useful level in the bloodstream while removing waste, excess water, and other substances. In the final step, called secretion, any solutes remaining in the capillaries that were not filtered out originally are secreted into what is left of the filtrate.